play some music. Um, I was about to say. What are you doing? I know you're not chewing on nothing. Y'all are not supposed to be chewing on that. Hey, how y'all doing? These ferrets are getting on my nerves. He knows it's time for him to go back in the cage and he's hiding. Because it's time to go back in the cage because I'm trying to clean. I see you. You're going back in the cage. I, mean, I can't even lie to y'all. Hey, I can't even lie to you. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look. You're going back in the cage. Stop hiding. Get off my shoes. He is really running away from me. Loki, get over here. And then this man, this little boy just, did, did you not? Look at the tail. Cause he know I'm trying to get him out of here. Like I can't open the door. Hey, it's time to get out. Terrible. I was just I was just coming in here to turn the music on, and I was going, like, let me get on live for a little bit as I'm cleaning and I'm gonna cook something. Let's go. Terrible. He's really hiding from me. He's really hiding from me. Come on. Let's go. This is ridiculous. He's really trying to. I'm going to take you back. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Got him. Finally got him. Look at him. Look at him. Finally got him. Stop. Not she. Come on now. Where are you? You're all terrible. Just terrible. All of that. That's what it feel like. Chasing a chicken. Especially, and Loki don't ever give me no problems. It always be ghost. It's always ghost that give me problems. I'm just in here trying to play some music. Clean the house. Here he go. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Black Money Court. <sighs> and I'm not giving y'all no more food till later. I just put food in there. It's ridiculous. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I did not mean to play that. It's Friday, so I know everybody excited that it's the weekend. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. I don't know. I hope everybody had a great day today, though. 
I got up at four this morning, worked out, worked, like went to work, worked for God. <laughs> Took a nap, got on the podcast, and then what else did I do? Yeah, now I'm cleaning the house. I'm going to do a deep clean because I'm not cleaning tomorrow because tomorrow's the Sabbath. So I'm like, let me get it out the way tonight. Because I'm not cleaning nothing tomorrow. But yeah, I was like, let me go ahead and clean up. I love cleaning. It's therapeutic. But I don't play. This house can be clean. I don't got so spoiled because I always wash hands by, I mean, wash the dishes by hand. And I still do from time to time. But just to pop it in the dishwasher, put the pods in, and it come out just as clean, I become spoiled. <laughs> gonna stay up here for like an hour get off and then come back late at night depends on what god want to do trying to see what i'm gonna cook i still don't know i mean we've already ate but i'm really just like cooking for tomorrow everybody doing Friday I'm even surprised to see this many people up here because it's Friday y'all not doing nothing y'all not having fun <laughs> y'all not going out this is fun to me I'm a home party like in the house I mean I'll go somewhere but like Alright, my time is up out here. I got the time. <laughs> we'll be having the time with it. Alright, we'll be outside for a little for a couple of hours. Just worked out now I'm chilling in the cut. Yeah. That sounds like me. That definitely sounds like me. I said I was going to make a series, which I am, on how to fight against uh, daily struggles that we battle with every day. Because for some time now, God keeps telling me, like, people just coasting life, just existing. It's not why he has you here. I know that feeling, though. <laughs> Especially the last eight months of my life. I know that feeling. So you just coasting and you like. Oh, it is what it is. <laughs> That's what I used to say. It is what it is. And God will be like. Oh you're going to happen sooner than you expected. And I'm like. No it's, it's, it's not happening sooner than I expected. Because <laughs> sooner it is what. Hey. Thank you, Shwar. Sooner was yesterday. Sooner was last month. Sooner was a couple months ago. That that was that's sooner to me. Thank you. I appreciate it. My glory to God. So it's not always like this. But he did tell me if I went through my refining process and didn't give up, that he was gonna catch me up to speed. Like things that would have took 10 years is gonna happen now. And all glory to him. I've already broken a lot of generational curses at 26. I have family that think you can break generational curses through another, um, through a false deity 
And I'm like, no, this, you can't beat a demon with a demon. It's not how that works. It's not how that works. Can't tell them that though. I'm like, okay. Did my part. Plant the seed. You probably won't get it now. You'll get it when you decide to take that route. I'm not about to scream and for my face to turn blue and purple and you still don't listen. <laughs> Thank you. I used to work uh, makeup a lot. Like, a whole lot. And there's nothing wrong with makeup. But it, it ate up my skin. Like, I would break out a lot. So, I've been taking care of my, my face, my, my health, my hygiene. I don't play about my hygiene. Even when I was homeless, I didn't play about my hygiene. Oh, let me see if I have it. Um, I think I... So, it would be... I think this is a 32. That's a 22. So I think this is a, this may be a 48. I don't know. But you see this cup, y'all? I would have, when I was sleeping in my car, I would have two Wawa cups this size. And um, I would fill it up with water. And I would go in the trunk, get my towel, my washcloth, park somewhere where it was private. And I would put my towel on the driver's seat chair and then I would keep the towel on the side. And that's how I would wash myself. I would take two cups and I would use one cup to set, to lather up my washcloth and soap, dip it in there, wash myself, and then... <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. <laughs> I thought you were gone. I got back like an hour ago. Really? Yeah, I didn't get my hair done. But yeah. I would, like, wash myself and then I would take the other cup of water and pour it on myself gradually um, not in the car, because, you know, I don't know. I, I be having to explain everything, because people think I did all of this in the car. Like, no. I would wash myself and lather myself up in the car. And then I would open the car door up. I would open the car door up and stoop super low like this. And pour the water on me, on my back, privates, whatever. And... <laughs> Nobody believes me that, but I did this. I would still, I would still, I would take care of my hygiene. I found a way. If I couldn't take a shower, I couldn't take a bathroom or nowhere. I couldn't go and find a private bathroom in a public space. I would just, I would just do it that way. And then um, I would be sh shivering cold. I ain't had no AC or heat in my car. And then I would cover myself up, put my, uh, lather myself up, lotion or cocoa butter whatever I had at the time and put my clothes on double up I wear two pair of socks double up on my socks because <laughs> it was the winter um towards the end of me sleeping in my car and then I would wrap myself up in the blanket put the blanket over my head because it was that cold I'll put um like a hat on my head too so I wouldn't get sick sometimes that wouldn't do anything sometimes I would still be cold Sometimes I would still be cold and wake up and my toes be stuck together. But yeah. I wasn't as emotionally mature nor spiritually like when I was your age. Yeah, I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> I didn't even think I would be this spiritually mature. Cause I was really out here doing whatever. And punching whoever too, because I was just a firm believer. You know how to talk, then you must know how to fight. You run in your mouth, you know how to fight. So let's just cut the chat and just fight. <laughs> and my family would be so upset, but I'm like, but y'all run your mouth 24/7. Nobody got time for that. Let's just get punched in the mouth. Now, I ain't got time for that. Don't get me wrong. Don't try me. I don't know why people think when you say you soft. It's actually not true at all.
Yeah, I'm the same way. More action, less talking. <laughs> exactly. You know, all this talking for. When I begin a fight professionally, y'all will see that. Like, okay, are we going to fight? Or I understand to an extent it's an entertainment thing, but I don't. That's not my cup of tea. I'm like, okay, we're doing a lot of talking. Let's see if you can back it up. If you can't, I'll bite. You know, I'll, I'll give you your flowers. But point is, are we going to fight? <laughs> Oh yeah, I ain't got time for that because I'm saying I want to be somebody wife and stuff one day. I can't be doing that. That's I can't be doing that. That's embarrassing. I ain't gonna embarrass my husband like that. That's another. That's another thing that helps me to um, just hush. Yeah, y'all gonna hear me play that song. Like, I literally heard this song um, when it came, like when it really like came out. I be playing it like it's new, like it just came out. I really love that song. I love it. Yeah, I love a lot of his songs. Nathaniel Bassey, y'all should look him up. Be like, everybody says the same thing about his songs. They'd be like, um, they'd be like, it's like he he got the song from heaven. Because <laughs> that's what it sound like. Like majority of his songs, it sound like he got it from heaven. Like he went to heaven himself and, and sat with God and just, yeah. I wasn't talking about your fates. Oh, my bad. I don't know what you mean though. My so my bad. Probably, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Because I said I was going to cook something, but for tomorrow. Yeah, I am. I'm probably going to make some soup. You should come into the rain to that song. I, I thought about it. <laughs> I've thought about it. Like the beginning of. I, half of the song the beginning should be like that and then pop out with something else after all my all the music i'm going to come out to is going to glorify god it's not going to be pop no cat it's that and the third <laughs> maybe in the past when i wasn't you know really serious about my relationship with god but no nah, i'm not on that type of time how many fights do you have do you plan on going pro soon yeah i have over 50 fights i lost like 12 maybe 14 times Thank you for viewing my channel and keep up that somewhere. No problem. You was spitting for real because everything you were saying was very true. Like, it's so, like, people are so weird in this part. <laughs> it was a joke about you being in the kitchen. Oh, that's not a joke to me. I take that as a compliment. I like being in the kitchen. I like cooking. I like cleaning. I don't care. Like, that does not offend me. I literally do not care. <laughs> Like, I, I see people do that a lot, especially being that I'm a fighter. Like, people, you know, they do that. They like to um, joke around saying that, or they like to just be, they think it's being disrespectful. It's a compliment to me. You know how many women, like, that I know can't cook? I'm glad I can cook. What? Save money? And my food actually tastes good because my great-grandmother taught me how to cook? 
Big Mama taught her how to cook. Like, I am happy. <laughs> You're not saying nothing. Yeah, but some people say that, and that they, they, um, some people say that to me as an insult. People just say it as a joke because I'm a woman, but that's a compliment. You don't really see nobody cooking for real. If y'all go on TikTok, I feel like, what are y'all making? What are you making? That is not, that is not how you cook. You don't nobody clean their meat no more. Don't nobody marinate their meat no more. Y'all don't know how to cook. If your money gets tight, you don't know how to stretch a dollar. Man, my parents were struggling. My mom used to go to Dollar Tree all the time for dinner. And you would have never thought that how the way she she cooks, you would have never thought it came from Dollar Tree. My dad would be like, dang, I don't I don't get paid to end of the week. All I got is, is about $5. She would make $5 stretch for the whole week. And I'm talking about we eat in seconds and everything. Jambalaya was always, always our go-to. And my mom is good jambalaya. So, I'm glad I can cook. <laughs> hey, bloody knuckles. I don't know what I'm about to cook. Right now, I'm just cleaning. Like, I'm deep cleaning because tomorrow's the Sabbath. I don't want to clean the thing tomorrow. What's your favorite way to win a fight or is it one way? Um, I like body shots because I don't, you don't really see in that band throwing a lot. I like throwing body shots. Of course, using my jab more. I do, which I use my jab a lot. I don't have a choice, but I like uh, going to the body a lot and throwing punches that you don't really see nobody throwing. But yeah, for now, y'all, I'm just, I'm just cleaning. I don't know who was fighting tomorrow. How do y'all know when people about to fight? See, I'm just a fighter. And I, I haven't been on the scene like that. But how do y'all know when people about to fight? Like, what, what channels do y'all be following? Because I've got ESPN on my phone. But, like, I don't really be on the app. Well, maybe if I actually look on that. Oh, YouTube? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Cause I'm like, how do y'all be knowing who, who fighting when they fighting? IFO TV seconds out. I'm gonna screenshot it. Thank you. Cause I'm like, how do y'all be knowing? I'm feeling slow sometimes. Embarrassing. Not me being a fighter and not knowing how. I miss when they used to have boxing on HBO though. Boxing show time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm getting back. I'm, I'm getting back. But I know things are different. Like, um, yes, I can. Um, and I've gotten better, as a matter of fact, which I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. I love oxtails. I love um, cooking like butter beans with them, rice and peas, of course. We don't like rice and peas. We don't like rice and peas. I don't know what's wrong with you. Bro, yes, HBO Boxing was where it was at. Yeah. I really miss HBO Boxing. It's just not the same anymore. Like, I know, like, um, like, well, I think, is it like, what, they're not showing fights no more on ESPN? Is a certain app you got to watch fights on? Yes, I love Oxos. I love me some plantains. I love, I love Jamaica food. 
And then I just learned how to make cocoa bread from scratch. But I can't eat that like I want to, so. I'm not really excited about that because the bread be having me in the choke hole. Bread be my biggest downfall, though. Hey, Jada, would you cook in us? I don't know yet. I have no clue. I don't even know yet. I should have been figured this out earlier, but we already, it's kind of hard because like we already ate and stuff, but I just made like probably meal prep or something, but for now I'm just cleaning it. Because on the weekend sometimes, sometimes we, we go out. So it's like, I don't know. Usually when I meal prep or if I choose to, then I'll do it on a Sunday. That, that's usually, I might just do that. I may just do that. Jared Anderson fights on ESPN tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. I'm crying. Well, hit the wrong gender. You know, I found out that I may be some kin to him. I'm not even surprised. Because my uncles, a couple of my uncles, they favor him a lot. It's crazy. Like, especially when they were teenagers, they favor him a whole lot. I be feeling bad for him, though. But you see how, you know, that Jada is. That's how the women in my family are. And that's exactly why I was like, God, please. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. I know people use dandelion roots, but that's tea. And I don't know about putting creamer in tea. A lot of a lot of celebrities do that though. They upbring and be Christian and then when they get out here in the industry and stuff, it they start off with good intentions and then they get swallowed into stuff like that. They you know, get caught up in witchcraft and making covenants and everything. Did you ever listen to Pastor Gino Jennings? If not, you to him. Mm, no. I'm sorry. No. I um not talking bad about him or anything like that, but I've grown, grown up in a church like that, and a lot of them don't get it. They don't get it. Like, you have to be led by the Holy Spirit. You can't go off of your own understanding. Just because you're loud, it doesn't mean you're right. It's too many people that are loud and wrong. And some stuff he says, he is right. But a lot of stuff he says is not correct. Like, it's not correct at all. Like, you have to spend time with the Holy Spirit, you know. And that's a Pentecostal church. But Pentecostal apostolic are basically the same. You know, you because I, I didn't wear my first pair of pants, y'all, until I was 11 years old. So, it was always, we got to wear long skirts to our ankles. And, you know, we better not wear nothing that's revealing. I'm talking about... I'm talking about, like, if my collarbone is showing, oh, you're a Jezebel, you're a Jezebel, you need to cover up. I mean, coming up to me with a bag of safety pins, like, having my shirt like this, putting a safety pin right there, like, they said, if you, you paint your nails, you dye your hair, you pierce your ears, you're going to hell, like, that is not biblical, that's not what the Bible says, like, yes, it says that to dress modestly, but there's not a uniform that comes with that. 
I got on jogging pants and a long sleeve shirt. This is still considered modest, being modest. I'm not revealing anything and I'm not being promiscuous. People are, I'm telling you, I grew up in church like that. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> it is not what it's cracked up to be. Oh, uh, can't be a green tea with lemon and agave or honey organic. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I like Arizona green tea. I like it cold and sweet. <laughs> That's my problem. Sugar. Yeah, it do seem. Yeah, it does seem like it. And that's why I said like it's. That's why like it, it's important to discern and be like, all right, God. Like I can see that this pastor has good intentions, or or he may have you know good intentions as far as preaching your word. But is he led by your spirit? Is he? Does he spend time with you? Like, is he intimate with you? Because I don't want to listen to somebody that's not intimate with you. Because at that point, you're just feeding your pride and ego, and that's not going to do nothing for me. Nor is it going to do anything for the kingdom of God. It's just not. And it's funny because there's always boxing coaches asking me that. I ain't hear, I ain't hear about Gino uh, Jennings until um, a coach uh, asked me, like, in 2022. <laughs> That's funny. It's always a boxing coach that asked me that. It's never been nobody else. I love to see that um, we got men of God and in the boxing community. We need that. I love it. Yeah, I've I've, I've uh, watched a lot of stuff from Miles Monroe. Like I said, some stuff, and it's not it's not just these two. It's a lot of people do this. They preach the word of God, and then they, they'll put their beliefs to, like, I believe that this, that, and the third. And it's like, we really have to be careful with that because it doesn't matter about what we believe. It, will matter, it matters what the Bible says and what God is saying. But I do agree with a lot of the stuff that he has taught. Um, I like Miles Monroe. I'm praying for all of the watchmen. God is calling his watchmen to speak and warn the people. Yeah. I'm definitely it made sense like in 2022 when he wanted me to start praying according to the watch too made a lot of sense i was like well good gosh like you said i'm an intercessor you said i'm a prophet a prophetess you said that i'm um a watchman but you know what when you're married and when you're a wife you're all of those things for your husband too and I told this girl that, I said, so you believe in Christ? She said, yeah. I'm like, she was like, we go to church all the time. I was like, you're having these problems in your marriage? Yeah. I said, did you know you're your husband, number one intercessor? You're his watchman? Like, girl, you didn't know how to, you, your, your marriage is powerful. Your marriage, your covenant is powerful because who you're in covenant with. Um, you need to know how to fight. <laughs> Everybody, uh, all these witches and warlocks know how powerful your covenant is. How come you don't know? What's the watch? So a watch is like in increments of threes. And the first watch of the day, many people may think it's the beginning of the day, like 6 a.m. But the first watch of the day is from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that is the watch of healing, restoration, provision, and you pray according to um, those things, like not just for yourself, but for others too. And when you're praying in the Spirit, uh, in the Holy Spirit, He'll show you who else to pray for during those, like during that time. So that's from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. From 9 p.m. to midnight, that is the watch of revelation and spiritual knowledge. So that's the time where God likes to unveil the mysteries um, in your life. He likes to show He'll. If you ask him, he'll show you what's going on in heaven on your own behalf. Um, what are the mysteries he has for you? That's why scripture says in Jeremiah uh, 3 and 33, call on me and I'll answer you and show you the unsearchable things. It's something similar that speaks on that in Daniel, the book of Daniel uh, 2 and 22. So um, during that watch as well, like let's say if... You just fall into a trance, which a oh, trance is biblical. I don't know why people just think that's a witch term. No, it's not. We don't. We don't do witchcraft over here. <laughs> we believe in Jesus, you know.
but um if he allows you to fall into a trance for it can just be for 10 minutes that's enough time for him to show you what's about to happen to you it could be what's about to happen to you in the next hour what's about to happen to you the next day like he will let you know what's about to happen he'll give you instructions um so yeah that's what you will expect during that watch down from midnight to, to 3 a.m. is night watchers also from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is night watchers too so that's why I just combined it and I just say from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. is night watchers but it but like from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. is also when you ask God to obtain the mercies and blessings for that day but uh, like I said as a whole from midnight and 6 a.m. that is evil hours that is witch hours that is Whatever you want to call it. People call it night night watchers, night walkers. It's basically demon time. And that's why a lot of people, like, they wake up around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. They're like, why am I up? Like, why is God with me? Like, they may not even know it's God. But they'll be like, why do I keep waking up at 3 a.m., 4 a.m.? But God is waking you up because more than likely, it's either, it's always these things. He wants you to spend time with him. And you will feel the unctioning in your spirit like, I need to pray let me read my bible let me talk to him you know let or let me watch a sermon basically anything that is acknowledging him but he will you'll get a feeling on what to do you have to trust yourself you have to know god is speaking to me you can't question you can't you know you can question but if you you know what i'm saying you don't want to overthink everything you just got to start somewhere and if you just woken up from a dream where you always have vivid dreams i tell people all the time write your dreams down write them down because he does this to me all the time i have a two big huge notebooks full of dreams prophecies and visions and he'd be like i need you to go through your book and i'll go through it and i'm like this is happening now or this has already happened like this has this just happened and i wrote this last year and i'm thinking it was going to happen around that time but it actually happened the same time you know that i wrote it last year but it's happening this year you know um from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., um, that is the watch where you ask God for uh, spiritual blessings, spiritual maturity. Um, of course, like job promotions and things of that that matter, like blessings. And also at 6 a.m. is when the angels go back. I'll be feeling like a little kid. I'll be like, bye! <laughs> I'll be like, goodbye! <laughs> Uh, yeah, 6 a.m. is when they go back. That's why I think it was Jacob that was wrestling with him. He was like, the angel's like, I gotta go back. Like, <laughs> like bro, move. <laughs> like, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Because they gotta they go back at that time. Uh, and then 9 a.m. to noon is when you ask God for deliverance. Help him with your emotional battles. That's also a good time to do interviews, meetings, you know i don't i don't do a meeting outside of that watch um uh, when it comes to like you know if, if it comes to a type of business move or anything concerning a meeting or an interview for something important you know but like i i'm only doing it in that time and god has instructed me you're like only do it during this time do not do it after 12. don't even do it um at like 11 45 where we're about to enter into a whole nother watch but that's just me um, and then from noon to 3 p.m. is the watch of darkness. So whatever didn't happen from midnight to 6 a.m., like demonic activity, is going to try to happen between noon and 3 p.m. So he has me pray against those same demonic spirits. and um, Because a lot of the times you see car accidents, right? Don't y'all see car accidents happen around that time from noon to 3 p.m.? You always see car accidents happen. You always see uh, on the news a school shooting or some type of mass massive shooting is always around that time I bet you if you look up an uh, incident in a majority of the incidents that has happened um the last couple of years you will see it between that time um people will receive bad doctor's reports um the spirit of death just be roaming so there's a lot of demonic activity that happens during that time and then from 3 p.m to 6 p.m is the watch of sacrifice to god you're a destiny helper you're being a blessing to someone um you're doing service for god you know or somebody can be a blessing towards you and be your destiny helper um and then 6 p.m i already said from 6 p.m to 9 p.m you know it just starts over 
um that's the first watch of the day is 6 p.m to 9 p.m so he has me pray according to those times so when i'm praying up here or just praying period i pray according to the time because angels move swiftly you know there's a such thing as prayer laws um so angels definitely move swiftly when you pray according to the time i'm going to go more into depth about that and give you scripture for all of that when I, i'm going to make videos on that like i said uh this morning i'm going to make a series on how to fight spiritually and that's one of the things out of many that i do <laughs> um then you ain't blend with almond creamer you want something and i make my own almond milk from time to time tastes totally different than the ones in the store um yeah yeah it's miles morrow says some way out stuff i agree hi kendon's corner me and my mom used to pray every day between 3 a.m for 6 a.m for years you really will break some stuff off i'm telling you um is this biblical or things you have shown you yes all of it is biblical all of it is by by scripture um like i said i'm going to make a video on um i'm, I'm going to make a video for each watch because i don't want to just cram a bunch of stuff in one video and it'd be just too long so I'm going to make a video for each watch. And yes, I always back up scripture. He always gives me scripture. Even if I don't know it right then and there and he tells me to do something, I know he's going to give me a scripture, you know. So I just, sometimes God is looking for your obedience to see if you're actually going to do something that he told you. Um, but yeah, he gives me scripture all the time. Um, I got a bone to pick with God. Oh, be careful but um, what do you mean by that like why you say that somebody said what you mean yeah what do you mean by that um ezekiel 3 17 son of man i appointed you as a watchman to the house of israel whenever you hear a word from me from my mouth warn them for me yep that's yeah when i read that i was like oh wow no i will not be doing that hi d hello Hi Pedro, Pedro Sorrow. Hi, hi D. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm deep cleaning for now. I ain't cooking up today. I'm gonna get me some coffee. <laughs> I like oat milk too. I'm gonna have to make my own though, cause um, we starting to add a lot of stuff. I don't like preservatives and all of that. I do not like preservatives. I'm trying to like see if I can break this down. I guess not. I will. Yeah, I'm going to turn pro. I'm chilling, maintaining. I feel you. My bo my morning was very busy, and now I'm just chilling. But yeah, I was just saying how I'm going to make a series on how to fight spiritually in Christ. So, we'll see what God has planned for that. Thanks. Yeah. I did it. Um, oh, by the way, I'm going to put it up here. But y'all go check out the podcast I did with um, things like based on characters or something like that. Um, I'll put it on. I'll share it so y'all can see. But it's one thing he said when he was like, I want to learn how to fight. <laughs> he was talking about spiritually. He was like, you know, I'm going through some things and I want to know how to fight. You know. That's why, um, that's what I keep hearing too. So I know when God does that with me, when he keeps repeating something somebody said to me, I'm like, okay, God, I'm on it. I'm on it.
No, I would not go into depth about Jared Anderson and his problems. I would not do that. I won't do that with anybody. But I will just say what he's going through is spiritual warfare, just like what we go through. Um, God has commissioned me not to share his personal uh, things that he struggles with and what he's going through. Um, that's with really anybody. So I will protect him. God will pro God does the protecting, but I will do my job as God's vessel to shut my mouth. Don't feel bad. It's a learning experience. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Okay, D. Um, like I said with Ryan Garcia, if you really, um, if you're going to do something like that or you're going to expose somebody, you need to be backed up spiritually. You can't say you are a believer in Christ and it's like pick a side. If you say you believe in Christ, then stay there. <laughs> Don't be wavering over here and, you know, um, I feel like, like I said, a lot of people, they get into drug addi addictions and stuff like that. Because when it, when the things get overwhelming, they don't know how to pray that demonic stronghold off. They don't know um, how to fight spiritually. When you get overwhelmed like that and you just feel like it's too much, you're supposed to be at God's feet. You're supposed to be in, in the presence of the Lord, not snorting. Not snorting, not doing what you do. And then that's a temporary fix at that. That's not going to do anything. That's just going to make matters worse. So when God, you know, had me exposed and do this before I did it, he prepared me. He prepped me. He took me through my refining process. And that's what Ryan needs to go through. He needs to go through his refining process with God. He needs to be purified because he's not. And that's the truth. That's not even me trying to be mean or anything like that. That's the that's the problem. Everybody want to say they're a believer in Christ. Bro, that, that sounds cute. But the reality of giving your life to Christ is... It's breaking. It hurts sometimes. It's great experiences that you have with God, but he has to break you because we have invited so many things in our life. We've done things out of ignorance. We've come into evil covenants to probably like what to be successful and people do that. They don't see nothing wrong with it. Well, I believe in Christ. That's enough. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough at all. So God has to break that off of you, but that's why in his word, like, I'm going to keep saying, people perish for the lack of knowledge. So, yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. He's absolutely correct. But do you know how to fight spiritually? No. That's what you need to do. You need to know how to fight spiritually. He's a good person, but being a good person is not enough. Are you in tune with the Holy Spirit? A lot of people that try to use that. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. What's your point? It's not about just being a good person. Yeah, you can't be lukewarm. You can't treat God uh, like a side piece. That's not how that works. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask that you help me to be bold more and more every day. I engage in the spirit of boldness in the name of Jesus. What's so hard about that? I'm going to leave this live up and I'm not going to be here up here long because I'm going to come back up here probably late at night if God commissioned me to do so. But don't be dependent on somebody um, to pray for you. Of course, I pray for anybody that I don't even know. I'm an intercessor. I pray for people I don't know all the time. I see their faces and what they're going through all the time. People that be in the corner of their room thinking nobody cares about them, thinking um, nobody sees them. Because they're, 
they're in their house cooped up in a corner in a closet crying yeah i see stuff like that and i pray against it but the word of god says pray without ceasing pray for yourself i say this to people all the time not to be mean not to be nasty but you need to you don't need to be codependent off no one you need to know how to do this for yourself cyber attack is about to happen a black a blackout is about to happen it's like what are people going to do when they can't get online when they can't go to church because pestilence is about to hit the land basically something worse than COVID is about to hit the land what are you going to do when the doors of the church is closed what are you going to do when you can't go on live for your sunday service what are you going to do you have to learn how to do this stuff yourself yeah i mean when it comes to praying period when it comes to spiritual warfare period you always got to put on the armor of god um i don't know what all the talk is with christianity uh, christianity versus muslim i don't know i don't get into stuff like that it ain't pretty being dirty put that on the shirt <laughs> Prophet Lovey is a false prophet. He's a warlock. He's a warlock. He's definitely a warlock. Um, you're telling people to do things that are witchcraft. Uh, what is it called? There's a such thing as neo-Pentecostal churches. What? For an example, y'all like Neo Soul? Y'all know a Neo Soul? Name a Neo Soul artist, you know, like Jill Scott, Erica Badu. Name somebody that's Neo Soul. I think like Lauren Hill, I think she gave her life to Christ, but. Do y'all know what Neo Soul? Are you aware of what Neo Soul is? I've been set apart for years. Oh, for sure. Like I said, I'm going to always pray. I'm going to always pray. Yeah. But so like with Neo Soul artists, a lot of them do witchcraft. They do. They do witchcraft. They give reference into the universe, the moon, the stars, the, you know, and they make witchcraft sound so sweet. They like they it is it's like people are serenading in witchcraft and don't even know it. And it's it's a lot of them and there's a lot of them that were starting to do Neo Soul and then they was like they gave their life to Christ. But they make they they make witchcraft sound so sweet. So with Neo Pentecostal churches is that it, it's like similar. They make witchcraft sound like it's okay to do. They use the word of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They use the word of God. to They manipulate the word of God. To think witchcraft is okay to do. It's the same thing with Catholicism. People don't know. But Catholicism is like whitewashed. Um, whitewashed Ifa. Ifa is voodoo. Did y'all know that when it came to Catholicism uh, being made. They took men and women from Nigeria from Africa brought them over here and they taught them how to do Ifa. so that's what it basically is it's whitewashed voodoo it is that's why a lot of people that are Catholic they do witchcraft also praying to the saints praying to angels that is witchcraft you're not supposed to pray to angels you can engage for an example if it's when I'm praying, I can say I engage with the angels in the name of Jesus to help me fight against spiritual warfare. I can say that. You have our angel, our, our angel Michael. That's like the commander. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I can engage, but praying to with to to angels, that's witchcraft. I'm not supposed to do that. I mean, there's a lot you're not supposed to do, but that you don't want to do. You know, so it's like People was like, oh my gosh, you got to listen to Prophet Lovey. I'm like, where's your discernment? Like, where 
Where is your discernment? Not, not y'all. I don't thank you. Catholic, Catholic is a practice idolatry. Yes, it's wrong, and they be idolizing the mess out of these pastors, these leaders. Their false teachings, like <laughs> it is crazy. Yeah, and then I know their Bible is a little bit different, but you don't have the Holy Spirit. I've heard too many people say stuff about exorcisms, and I'm even learning stuff about that. But it's like, you cannot drive a demon out by saying, in the name of God. Say his name, in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, you drive this demon out. And back it up with, with scripture. And you wonder why you keep dealing with this demon. Yeah, but that's still, that's, that's still, no, you don't, why are you asking, that's still witchcraft. You're, you're worshiping Mary, like Mary was just a vessel. That's just like, because I am in tune with the Holy Spirit, because I hear God directly, because I hear him audibly, because he's always speaking to me, because I'm in alignment with him. That's like people trying to like pray like like ask me or like I, I don't know how to really explain it but it's like you're coming to me when you need to be coming to god or let's say i die and people are saying my name like no you don't do that 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 goes against biblical principle that goes against god's principle she was just a vessel to carry the son of god yes she carried the son of god yes she carried jesus christ the one that died for our sins but she was just a vessel. Just like we can be vessels for the kingdom of God. So, no. And, yeah, people do pray to angels. Um, my. Sorry. A person that I used to date, his mom is Catholic. Was Catholic. Um, and they used to pray to, to the saints all the time. They will pray to them all the time. Yeah, I do my research. <laughs> I talk to, I've spoken to people that are um, Catholic. They've disagreed, but I did my part and I planted that seed. There's a lot of perversion. <laughs> I ain't even getting to that. Yeah, I, I feel you. He almost had a lot of people. But at least, you know, you were wise enough to take it back to God. Um, I'm not here to talk about Pharaoh. It started pancake. Like, y'all are weird up here on this app. I'm not here to talk about her. Like, why don't y'all, like, why do people do that? <laughs> like, why do people do that? You see me talking about something else and you want to bring up um stuff that don't matter i don't care who believes it or not um i said what i said how do you feel about greek mythology and how it's not christian um yeah i don't entertain anything that is not um of god like i just don't but a lot of people do whether they're in a fraternity or a sorority, you sit in there like in covenant with a false god, with a Greek god, with a demon. That's really what it is. Because everything has an origin. Only one name that man is said to be saved by. Thank you. <laughs> like, why? You know, why are people not getting it? Um, I don't care for that fight. I'm going to be for real. I ain't going to even lie to you. I don't care for that fight. I'm ready for it to be over, to be honest. May the best man win. <laughs> yeah, he'll do that. You you ask God to show you. He'll show you. And even when the whole TDJ situation went down. Oh, please don't let it be Sarah. Not y'all idolizing. 
Why are y'all idolizing these people? Not you idolizing. And just for her to come out with the picture of her doing like this. Come on, dog. <laughs> like, be for real. <laughs> people gonna believe what they want to believe and think it's cute to be ignorant. I don't care what nobody say. Prove it until guilty. What? If you don't have discernment to say that. Yay, it's clean. I'm gonna brew me some coffee. <laughs> so downstairs, downstairs, they always be like, oh, welcome to a, a cup of coffee. Get your cup. They don't ever have coffee downstairs though. So I took some cups from downstairs. <laughs> so I don't have to wash dishes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care because i'm like y'all don't ever have coffee though like bro i will make it because what you don't like free coffee yeah i'm gonna make me a small cup i sure did took them cups <laughs> we are living in the times of the strong delusion many will be deceived exactly no i do not have a boyfriend i don't like dating I, I believe in courting now courtship not dating but to each his own is what god wants you to do i guess i'm interested in because i like to learn about okay <laughs> that's you did you compete in olympics no i did not uh i love bro i love coffee i love coffee i am my father's child I love Colombian coffee. Oh, try to watch this. I'm gonna run a cycle. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just make some soup. I like soup. I like hearty. Sorry, y'all. I like hearty, chunky soup. I love soup. We'll see. I see people putting um like they get a protein shake or you know those premieres instead of putting creamer in their coffee they put one of those in there i'm like that's, that's, that's smart you want to get your protein in that's smart put the pot in I'm telling you, this dishwasher got no spoiled with this dishwasher. First, I was against it. At first, I was against it. I'm like, no, I don't do no dishwasher. Got to have creamer. I agree. Thank you. Uh, Francois. I like saying it like that. If 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 you don't say it like that, that's not how you say Francois. You you can't you can't say it. it it's not just Francois. No, you have to. You got to be extra when you say it. <laughs> you got to be extra. Uh, I love Latinos, but I mean I'm already in love with a Latino, so <laughs> red lentil soup. I'm crying. <laughs> DB. <laughs> Yo, DB is quick. <laughs> I was about to. Let me show you better. I can tell you. If it's not this, I don't want it. If it's not hazelnut, I don't want it. I was just about to say that. I was about to say hazelnut creamer. If it's not hazelnut creamer, I don't want it. I tried like the Cinnabon. I tried the other flavors, but it's just, it, 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 it gives a weird aftertaste and then it's too much. You know what I'm saying? Keep it simple with me. Keep it simple. <laughs> or get removed, period. <laughs> period. 
Boots versus Crawford. Let's be for real. Crawford. Let's be for real. Let's not even play them type of games. Let's not even play them type of games. I'm going to go for Crawford every time. I am very biased when it comes to Tank and Crawford. Please. I love Bud. His work ethic is top tier. Yeah, his his work ethic is top tier. Great fight to watch. Yeah, that is true. That is true. First part, I haven't had a coffee today. I try to um I try to back away from coffee from time to time. Just you know, give my nervous system a break. <laughs> Period. He talking to anybody in the chat and he said what he said. He said what he said. putting people on 24 hour uh, timeout because be for real play with your mama not me I know everybody got the uh, what's it called Keurig somebody's trying to get a Keurig <laughs> what is it is that how you say it K-E-U-R-I-G whatever it is I like them I like these I like the other ones too, but I, I like these. I like the old school. I can't stop smoking weed, but I'm not giving up my coffee. <laughs> oh, someone said I can't. I stopped smoking weed, but I'm not giving up my coffee. Hey. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, uh, what scripture is it? it? It talks about um not entertaining uh, mediums. Let me get my charger. I forgot. Type in, type in um on Google. Go on Google and type in the scripture that says, basically stay away from divinations, um like mediums and like it's gonna bring up a list. If you type in, if you just type in divination scripture, and just put scripture beside it. Like when I'm trying to find, where is my charger? When I'm trying to find a scripture, I just type in what I remember and then um, and then type scripture beside it. And then, yeah, it pops up every time. There we go. It pops up every single time. So do that and you'll find it. it talks about sorcery and all of that. I forgot my phone it was going dead. We would have been. Yeah, there. I knew it was in the book of Deuteronomy. I just didn't know which which one, which scripture. Period. D. Let them know. Let them know. Thing about me, I love clean kitchen. I don't see how people can cook in a dirty kitchen. And if you don't have bleach, I don't care. It's a toxic chemical. People say that all the time. It's a toxic chemical. You're cleaning with toxic chemicals. If you ain't choking a little bit, if you ain't about to die while you cleaning, it's not clean. Yeah, I've been in the book of Deuteronomy a lot. <laughs> making sure I, I keep, keep oh, man, making sure I um, keep his laws. Cause I'm trying, I'm, I'm I'm scarred after God. What he just took me through, what he just brought me out of. Yeah. 
Ain't going back. He's going to kill my coffee, huh? <laughs> I know I'm a descendant of a Hebrew Israelite. Descendant. Is that why you say you want to keep? No, if you say that you're a believer in Christ, you should want to always keep his laws. You should always want to keep his laws. I don't care if you're white. You should always want to keep God's laws. If you're saying that you're in covenant with Christ... You should always want to keep his laws. How does your faith help you when training? It helps me a lot. Because if I'm out to spar, sometimes I get nervous. And I'll just say a scripture that's relevant to how I'm feeling. And it will go away. Or like, even when I'm lifting. And let's say like, sometimes y'all get, y'all know y'all get into a funk where... You work out and the music that you're you list you used to listen to or you're used to listening to, I'm not saying that it's bad. You just be like, it's not hitting like it, it be hitting these last couple of days. When I live, I listen to slow music, I listen to worship music and stuff. And it helps me focus. Like I realize that when I play worship music or music that can go that way, like you know, I call it accidentally Christian songs. Then yeah. It helps me focus a lot. Like my friend, well, he's different, but when he when he works out, when he works out, he listens to R and B. Oh my! I'm about to claim all of that because <laughs> look under there. Oh, it was right oh, yeah, there. We it today. And then. And it's one. Oh, I just saw this one. And it's just one. And it's one right there. On the carpet? Yeah. <gasps> they know better. That's why I put them in their cage. Because they were acting up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I used to be addicted to that. Uh, I don't play basketball. I wanted my dad to teach me. He didn't, though. Yeah, I used to be addicted to that, Deshaun. He, he definitely helped me. Yeah, like, God really stressed me, stressed to me these last couple of months how important his laws are. It's important. You gotta keep the laws. You gotta respect and follow the laws. What about with the discipline and motivation? What passages help you the most? Hmm. As far as motivation, I can't really say. As far as the discipline, I know prayer helps. Prayer helps me a lot. When I meet and how I start off my day matters to me. And then even if, you know, my 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 morning was rough then i just pressed the reset button by praying i can listen to some hip hop but not all of it cuz some of them is just do too much but not you know so yeah that's what helps me prayer helps a lot Especially when you really know how to pray. Helps a lot. Mm -hmm. 
When you pray, it's a communication to God. Hard only hands. When you pray, it's a communication to God. So it shouldn't just be you um, just telling God, oh, God, I need help with this. I need, can you help me with that? This is the problem, this, that, and the third. Like, it's a communication. So you should pray and then wait. Sometimes before I pray, he gets me to just wait and just to sit in silence. And then I'll hear, begin to pray or start praying. And I, before I even pray, I ask him to lead me and guide me as I pray. Because half of the time, I don't even know what I'm about to pray about. And then, um, you know, like I said, as far as tearing, knowing how to wait when you pray. In the middle of prayer, he'll have me stop. And I'll just sit in silence. Or I'll hum. Or I'll sing. And then he responds. And then I begin to pray. I also see visions when I pray. So... I used to could only pray for five minutes, if that. Now I can go an hour, no problem. I can go, for a fact, I know I can go 47 minutes straight. Because <laughs> I see visions when I pray. Look, I took some of the cups because they don't ever have coffee downstairs. The lady <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, cause me when it comes to hip hop, it's drill that I I used to love and trap music all the all the time, like shy rap and stuff like that. Yeah, I used to be. Now I can't even listen to it. That's what spending time with God look like. The stuff that you used to love and bump hard to, like, can't even listen to it no more because the conviction be so heavy. Can't even ignore it. And won't. D is, D is my number one moderator. I only have two moderators. What's it like when he responds? Because for me, his responses were always signs in my everyday life. But that's how, you know, when people, when when it comes to God speaking to us, we can't limit him. We can't put him in a box. Everybody's like, no, I want to hear him audibly. Like, the same way you're talking to me, I want to hear him that way. But it's like, are you willing to put in the work, though? <laughs> like, with me with me it's not always him speaking to me audibly now and now he does he speaks to me audibly every day he does but you have to humble yourself to be like okay i'm okay with god speaking to me in the way he wants to speak to me he speaks to me through numbers and not no angel numbers either numbers belong to him he's the one that created them it's Satan that like to pervert and twist everything. So when pe when people hear me say that, it's like, oh, she believe in oh man, she believe in angel. Like no, numbers belong to God. So He speaks to me through numbers. I look up the number how He want me to look it up. Like whether it's in Strong's Concordance or let's say if it's just the number eight, then I'm like, okay, eight eight means new beginnings. If I see number three, it's perfection. But then I don't just stop there. I'd be like. God, you keep showing me this number. What is being perfected? Or if it's number seven, what is it being what's what's being completed? See the number two two two. Okay. From what you show me, God, this is marriage. Or he may get me to read Daniel two and twenty two. If I see three through three. Um what is being per what is what is uh perfected? What has been completed or like what has um or am I getting the, sorry, or um, he'll have me read Jeremiah 3 and 33. Or what is it, 33 and 3. Either way, he'll have me read a scripture or sometimes I'll already know. Where is the charger? There it goes. I hate when the charger falls behind the couch but yeah also um what else 
dreams, visions. Like, you have to be okay with how he speaks to you. And then, if you're like, but I really want to hear his voice. Okay, well, he may lead you on a long fast. He may lead you on a fast. He may need you to um, stop doing certain things. A lot of people say they want to hear him, but if you keep drinking and smoking and having sex to fill in a void because you don't want to think about the pain, anything that you use to mask the pain other than him, like you're robbing him of that opportunity to do that for you. What did they do? Oh my gosh. That's why they're in the cage. That's exactly why they're in that cage. Hi, Levante. How can you distinguish when he's talking to you? Um, it's called the gift of discerning of spirits. Everybody thinks that um, discernment and the gift of discerning of spirits is the same because the word, you see the word discern, um, but it's not the same. Although discernment does mean to judge, um, but when it's the when it's discerning of spirits, if you have Satan that tries to trick you and he calls your name, but first of all, if you hear anything, call your name. The first thing you're gonna say is, "Lord, is that you? Is that you?" Just like Samuel, when God said his name, um, he kept going to Eli and kept saying, "Did you call me?" Like, basically, did you call me? Did you call me? And then um, Eli told him what to do the next time he heard it. And he said, um, I'm listening, Lord. Uh, your servant is speaking or your servant is listening. You know, speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. It was something like that um, in the book of First Samuel. But um, you'll know when you have the gift of discerning of spirits, you can tell when it's the Holy Spirit or when it's another spirit. You can tell. And this is why you have to stay close to him. This is why you have to stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. Because you'll know. Satan try to do it all the time. And then if you like, something's telling me I'm, I'm a failure. I'm not, I'm not going to make it. God will never say that for one. He will never say that. God will never say that. And if his, um, it's just like when Satan tried to do that with me. And I'm like, well, that's not true because in his word it says, I am the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. So shut up. <laughs> and sometimes I just say that. I'll be like, shut up. Like sometimes I just say, shut up. Sometimes it's not a deep, drawn out prayer. Like, you're going to know I have authority over you. By the way, did you happen to see response? Nope. I don't care to see it either. If it comes across, then it comes across. But um, I don't care to see that. Um, when somebody said it the first time, <laughs> not him being timed out. <laughs> when um, it was a lot said, that's okay. Let God deal with her. Um, you just got like, let God deal with her. I was never really like interested in worrying about what she's saying. Um. I did expose a lot, but there's a saying, uh, never address a tree with no fruit. Never address, never address shade from a tree with no fruit. And that's just what you are. Um, you don't have the Holy Spirit. You, scripture says, I know you by your fruit. <laughs> that's what scripture says. Scripture says, I know you by your fruit and you don't have any fruit. So... You know, her response, it'll never be anything um, mature. She's not a mature person. And that's exactly why I just, I just call her Pharaoh. Like her name, her name is Pharaoh. You have a heart and heart. You're full of pride and you don't give glory to God. You don't use your platform to glorify the kingdom of God. Um, you're not an important person in my eyes to me. So she can say what she want to say, but when God vindicates then you really won't be able to say anything. And, you know, whatever God says, it doesn't return void. So you literally had the chance time after time after time, before I even exposed and, and, and stuff like that, things about her. 
you literally had the chance to repent. And if y'all listen to the video that I said to her, if you respond how the way I think you're going to respond, shame on you. But when this comes to pass, because you, you chose to have a hardened heart, you chose to be full of pride, don't say anything. Because you've been warned. And scripture says warning comes before destruction. So that's your fault. I'm good over here, honey. <laughs> I'm not out here bragging and um, doing foolish stuff. Like, that's not glorifying. And somebody, um, like I said, I don't even be wanting to know what that girl be doing. But people always bring it to my attention because, you know, what transpired. But, you know, someone was just like, I used to like her because she would always give glory to God. And, um, you know, it's very passionate about the sport. But you know her rapping even that like golly I ain't even want to see that like seeing that come across my timeline and you know stuff like that it's just like okay you know you're not you're not using your platform to glorify the kingdom of God um your heart is not matching with your words when you're talking about my God your heart is not matching your your life is not matching up to it and um, the thing is, everybody's like, oh, Jada's so emotional, so emotional. Like, she, she's speaking on all these things. She hasn't healed. She's not emotional. No. Being emotional and not healing is, is telling even the, you think that's something what I expose. There's stuff that I still know about you that you think I don't know. People sending screenshots to me. And it's your number. Because <laughs> I had her number before. It's your number. Being messy and stuff like that, I, I could have done that. You know what I'm saying? I could have um, put your business out there for real. You think that was something um, I could have really ruined your career. Like, you would have been done. You would have been canceled for real. But that's me being prideful, and that's me operating out of my own strength to vindicate myself. And that, that, that's something that God has told me not to do. And I would not do it. The things he told me to do and how to do it and how to exactly say what I said is what I was supposed to do. And I feel content with that. If I do anything extra that he did not ask me to do, I got to answer to him right then and there. And it's not pretty. So I'm chilling. So y'all sit back. Get your popcorn. <laughs> At first, old me would have been upset because it's like, why is it not happening sooner then what you said, you said your judgment will fall. You said vengeance is yours. Like, why is it? Why aren't you doing what you said now? Like, I want it to happen now. I don't care. God is going to do it how he want to do it. I, quite frankly, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see when that happens. But he's already shown me that I am going to see it. The same thing she did to me. She's going to have to go through that herself, but worse, because you messed with his prophet. You messed with his child. Before I even knew I was who I really was, you messed with his child. You messed with a king's kid. You you not, yeah, no. That's not how that works. You reap what you sow. <laughs> yeah, you reap what you sow. You can't be saying you reap what you sow in a um, rap video that does not glorify him at all. Don't just sit there and try to quote a scripture when you're putting down somebody, when you're cursing, when you're saying degrading, nasty things out your mouth, and then you want to quote a scripture. Ciao, bye. What's important is that God saw what you saw. You portray to be this person online that you're not. <laughs> She played a message you sent her. Oh, I heard. Yeah, I heard. Um. Oh, yeah. So I so so she did see that. Um. I asked for forgiveness because I did say some nasty things to her. I did. Um. Off of. Off of the rebuttal of what she did, because despite what she did to me, 
I was like, you know what? I can be the mature one. I can be the mature one, and I can apologize. I didn't even know she saw that. I didn't even know she saw that. But I was just like, you know what? I can be the mature one, and I can apologize. You started talking about my family first. You started talking about my family first, and what did I did? Oh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to restart this live because I don't want it to go long because I got a lot to say about that. <laughs> But um, let me see. It's cool. Let her do. Hi, Isaiah. I like your name. But I'm going to restart this live if y'all want to stay tuned and do that. But I'm going to make that live about that. I I'm not going to watch her video, but I'm going to just say what I did, basically. <laughs> 